Um, okay, do you know the date? Right now? <laughs> Sunday. January 19th? Yeah. Lindsay and I, this is my sister. Um, we're in Peoria right now, which is where she lives, where our grandma lives. And we're here with some tea. We have a candle lit over here. We have Lena, um, Lindsay's dog right here. Um, I'll end enter a picture here. I will take a picture right now and then I will enter it right up here in the corner. <laughs> I had the idea to have Lindsay join me on the, in the next Healing Archives video because um, I think it'll be double healing. <laughs> double healing, double trouble. Yeah. I guess we could talk about some of the, some of the things that we talked about on our walk. We talked about how dad was in a lot of pain and how he, like physical pain, emotional pain, just wasn't happy with where he was at. Um, so it was kind of easier to cope with it because it kind of felt like a relief to an extent that he was kind of done being like put through that. Yeah, our dad had MS and his legs were numb and it was har getting harder and harder for him to walk. And that was always like a big fear of him to be in a wheelchair. I remember talking to um, mom, just talking about when someone passes away, whether they're like happy or in pain, like it kind of, I was wondering what it would be like if dad was in a better place and then passed away. And mom said that she, she didn't feel like that would be any better. And not necessarily saying that either is easier, but now we see both sides of it because Dad was in a lot of suffering, and Mom, of course, she battled with her depression, but she had a lot to look forward to. She was she was really happy with her boyfriend living living in Pennsylvania. She she was she was happy, and just her battle with depression just she battled for a long time, and we just didn't know the depth of it. But she did have a lot to look forward to, and I think that's hard now. Her life is cut off there, and there were a lot of things to look forward to. Excuse you. I think I'm like not letting myself think about like what our future is gonna look like. I know it's unfair. It's like just because like weddings and like having babies should be an exciting thing. Like that's which it will obviously still be happy, but like. It's fucked up that mom and dad can't be there because they would love our kids so much and like shower them with so much love and the fact that our kids can't meet mom and dad, that just sucks. Like now yeah. they'll just hear about the memories of them and that just sucks. Like that just, they... And just knowing how close we are to Nan and Mimi and Pop, they won't have that. Mom was actually supposed to come out here this, this week. week. To help with Friday. her mom's other hip surgery. She was just out here for Thanksgiving for 10 days to help with her, with Nan's first hip surgery. Um, so, yeah, just, I keep burping. <laughs> it's a tea. Tea makes you burp? No. <laughs> it makes you burp. With an unexpected death, there's just so many things left unsaid, like, and we just have to kind of, like, guess until we do see mom again on the other side. Have you had like a sign like for me dad was always hummingbirds? Yeah that's what because when I saw that hummingbird the other day because I do always think about dad and mom always knows always knew that hummingbirds remind us of dad so I was like I'm looking for a different sign because I don't think mom would take dad's <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how you is. I'm sorry. Oh. Also with dad, there were other things that I felt like, well, one time in particular, I was driving and I was kind of stressed out, I f overwhelmed for whatever reason, and my Bluetooth wasn't working, so then I turned on the radio, and an Eric Church song played. And also, the, the stress just seems to like wash away, and I kind of felt like a warm hug, like my body just felt like, like, yeah. So I think things like that too. 
I think I think it took a long time for me to get there with dad like very true opening my heart up to those situations because probably in the first six months or a year I would just like didn't really listen to country at all right because it just made you sad yeah yeah our dad loved country music so whenever we listen to country music it reminds us of him and yeah we've gotten to a point now where whenever we are in the car together we listen to country and sing along and it makes us feel happy but I do agree that it was hard to listen to country at first I am in the hospital helping my grandma with her she just got her hip replaced so I'm here staying with her but I just wanted to say it's been five days since we filmed this video that you're watching right now and since then Lindsay and I both got a sign from my mom actually on the same exact day we weren't together but um I yeah I don't want to go in depth but we both got a sign from my mom on the same day so that's was really incredible would you ever want to do like like that um the show mom used to watch all the time with the psychic she's a medium Long Island medium would you ever? I know she watched that. Would you ever want to do that? <laughs> like go to like a medium, a, so that they, so that mom and dad can speak through them. Yeah. That would be interesting. I think I would do that. Not I feel like mom and dad would be very like. Mom is always so outspoken. Like I feel like she would definitely probably tell us something like, Belle. You <laughs> you put some purple shampoo in your hair. That's you just <laughs> telling me that now. I'm going I'm gonna use some today. Okay. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm two months sober. You hear my stomach? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can I do my right hand? <laughs> oh. I should have done my left hand. That was just bad for both of us. <laughs> I think it's really important while going through the grief grieving process to be like fully aware of how you are coping because you can so easily suppress things because it's like it's the most painful thing you could ever go through so when you're in like survival mode you're probably going to do some things that don't are maybe unlike you to cope and to feel okay so you gotta, gotta really pay attention to those things and communicate with your loved ones and be vulnerable with yourself yep <laughs> Can I find comfort in this discomfort? So, your heart is broken, but you can still feel love and allow yourself to feel all the feelings without trying to shut out the painful feelings. You can still feel pain alongside love, and eventually the love will become more, more, a little bit more, but it takes years, years. I feel like I'm there with Dad. Is that like when I think about him or I see pictures, I just know how much he loved us and how much he still loves us um so much so, so much, much. we we'll write cards <laughs> for him so 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 so, 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 so much <laughs> i feel like with mom right now it's like when i think about it it's like i know how much she loves us but it's still like i wish she was loving us in person absolutely even it's just weird like saying things Pakistan what <laughs> talking about things past tense like mom I remember when mom just like all of those memory things which now we're at a point with dad where it's like nice to say those things because I think talking about people that pass away when memories are brought up and saying it's those healing. it's healing but now it just feels like doing that with mom it just feels like still just not real and like not wanting to accept the fact that mom is gone. And I think the hardest thing for me right now is when it's like, I'm driving home from work and I would always call her on my way home. And like I'll catch myself like picking up my phone to call her and it's like... That hole just feels so huge. <laughs> I think it's, hey. I am very grateful to have you because I feel like I'm still able to laugh with you and cry with you. But I know mom didn't, like, want us to be hurting. She didn't want to leave us with, like, this amount of pain. Yeah, I know she wouldn't have wanted to do that, but... So it's nice just being able to, like, 
sit with you and just laugh sometimes because I know it's what she would want us to do it's just hard sometimes do you see Lena looking at it I'm sorry Lena I know you want it so bad love you love you got your back got your back I won't leave you ever